Welcome back to Lacrosse Friends. There is the name of the tournament on the back of number 25, Jim Block. This is the Alice Robeski Memorial in lovely Radotin, Prague, Czech Republic. The Green Gales in green with the white trim, white and black trim going right to left. They are facing the Bundeswehr lacrosse from Germany in the black with the red trim. And Bundeswehr will wind up with the first possession. Look like Green Gales had it, but Bundeswehr winds up with the ball. We are nearing nearing the start, uh, or we're nearing the end of round robin play. Then we move on to the to the other round, the uh, play-in rounds. There's Stephen Borden getting up the floor for a shot. Don't see that a whole lot, but he is a solid, solid player for this club. There's a shot from the outside by Aikens. Tyler Aikens gets the shot off. Neil Roberts, is he in net? No, I believe. We have Chris O'Reilly in net for the Green Gales. Down to our right, and they will get on the board first. Sneaking that ball past. Peter Brescia, the rebound just ripped home. There is the veteran star, Gavin Prout. He's still got lots of juice left in the tank. That ball's gonna make its way down to Chris O'Reilly. And one of the officials calling the ball went out of play, it went off the Green Gales. So it will be Bundeswehr ball. They have many German national team players on this club. They don't quite connect on that pass. It gets away from Max Sandline. <laughs> Henning Ratchin standing right on top of the ball. But the Green Gales will get play blown in here. So a couple minutes into this game, I'm Stephen Stamp. Thanks for being with me from all around the world. There's a shot by Cody Jacobs, who on the way to the box said that he was playing defense this morning, but he's up for an offensive shift here. There's a shot on the run by Brandon Ben. Now start match between the Bundesliga Lacrosse and Green Girls. Score is 0 to 1 for Green Girls. Things getting a little feisty already between the Green Gales and Bundesliga. Cody Jacobs getting up into the face. Of Marius Volter. Bundesliga bolt back down. <coughs> Jacobs taking his time getting to the box which can cause a delay of game penalty because the clock is running. It's running time, two 15 minute halves with stop time in the last two minutes of the second half. So Cody Jacobs gets two minutes, unsportsmanly conduct and a 10 minute misconduct. <laughs> so that means someone has to come over. Todd Collins will come and serve one of the penalties for Jacobs. I would think the in-home would get the two-minute. Or is it a one-minute? Yeah, it is one minute, sorry. I thought he called him doubled up. In the, with the 15-minute halves and the short games, we do go one-minute penalties for minors, three for majors. But the unsportsmanlike is still 10, which means you miss a lot of time, almost the rest of this half for Cody Jacobs. Great job to keep that ball from going over and back by Philip Broche. Tries to make the pass across. Can't quite connect with Sandline, it was tracked down in the corner. Nice job coming up with it by Gustav Weber. The shot by Sandline from the outside as the shot clock was about to expire. Brad MacArthur gets good body position and allows Nick Trude or Jim Block to pick that ball up. Shoots far side, great shot. What a finish. Brizo was just frozen in his spot, thought he had the angle taken away, and Block is able to reach across and just tuck it home with the defender on him. That's just a great shot to find that far corner. We'll really see it, as always, on this behind the net angle. Can't even see the, from the camera view where that ball was coming out of his stick, which shows you how little space Block had 
to find the corner of the net. Great job. Pretty decent defense, actually, by David Beckman. He just couldn't stop the ball from going in. McFarland has it up top. Hands it off, but doesn't quite connect with Block. Nice pass ahead to get it to Philip Broche. It's definitely a challenging pass from deep in his own end. I believe that was Volter that made the pass. It may have been David Beckman, actually. Those two really backbone players for this defense. And now I'm taking a look. I think it was Roland Wittmann that made the pass. Just want to give credit where it's due because that was a terrific pass ahead to Broche. Nice catch as well. Greengale set up in the offensive zone. They just got six left on the shot clock. So McFarland rips one, goes off the arm of, of sorry, of Peter Brescia, and down off his body, stays out. Brandon Ben down into the corner where Doug Trudeau will make the pass to the far side. That one gets away, and Simon Simon hopeful. Going for a bit of a run. He gets it stripped on the trail check by Tyler Aikens. Nice job to get the ball back for the Gales. The Gales have some veteran players for sure. Not the youngest, most dynamic team, but they can play the game of lacrosse. That ball just kind of gets off the stick of Trudeau into Breezia. He jumps out onto it. Brandon Ben takes a cross check to the chest. Henning Ratchin standing up for his goaltender and protecting his space. There's a turnover, the Gales forcing with pressure, and it's flicked ahead, there's another one. Prout comes up with it, nicely evades the check. Tim Wunderlich is back on defense, number 40 there on Ben. He is a big body, such a terrific athlete. There's a penalty coming, a slash on Brandon McFarland. So power play for Bundeswehr. We are just about midway through this first of two 15 minute halves. I'm Steven Stamp, this is AHM 2018. Hope everyone is enjoying the feed. Great production here, love what these guys do. Such solid work, great feed. Running the replay, really enjoying what these guys are doing. So proud to be part of it. That pass is high for Prout. Tyler Aiken's got a little too much air under it, and it drifts over the Bundeswehr bench. Artem Mariosch running one door for Bundeswehr. He is a German national team member who's actually playing for the non-Olympic athletes from everywhere, or NOF, here at the Rebeski. Prout takes quite a swat and another couple of swats from Gustav Weber. Prout backpedaling. They can kill the rest of the penalty and have five seconds left to go at the net. So Prout just holding the ball away, and he draws the penalty. It's a little over aggressive by Henning Ratchin. The players always look surprised when they get called for penalties, and there's not much question. Look at this one. He's grabbing, grabbing it right there. He wraps on. Prout helps by throwing his arm up so that Ratchin is kind of hooked onto it, but, but that's just a smart veteran play. There's no dive. He just put himself in a position where Ratchin would have to drag him down. He did so, and we're four on four. And now the Gales go back to the power play because the penalty ended on the other side. Gales pass it out to the top. Aiken shoots, scores, a little sidearm. Finds one just inside the post. Power play marker makes it three nothing for the Green Gales. <laughs> Jim Block to face off against David Beckman. Block pulls it back clean, but he went early, so Beckman and Bundesliga get possession. And Nick Salter is going to get sent off because he was poking away at Tim Wunderlich swatting at him before play was blown in. It's a delay of game call. I think they're just trying to get control of the game early. And Nick Salter just asking 
I met the call and Keith Conyers says, just go to the box. Philip Roche down low to Wonderlick, gets it back. Up top to Brandenburger. Over to Sandlin. Oh, great finish. Nice movement. The final pass from Weber into the middle, and it is tapped home. It's just a great bit of passing, and the finish there by Max Sandlin. Lever pass, and going back against the grain right away. We have a timeout called by Green Gales. You get one per half, so they're going to use theirs here with 4.34 to go in the first half. It is 3-1 to one in favor of the Green Gales. So we'll rejoin things at mid-floor for the face-off post goal in the in the timeout. Block pulls it back. Mark DeBrown trying to come up with it. It's going to pop up out of play. Did go off of a Bundesliga player, so Green Gales will have possession. Block tosses it back, and Gavin Prout will set things up in the offense. Down into the corner, kind of skips away. Just not able to be controlled by Connor Wilson. Connor Wilson, who uh, takes a bit of a flailing swat at a German player. Connor, terrific color commentator, has joined me for a couple of games. Hopefully get him back in the booth for some more games through the course of the weekend. It's been a lot of work in to help get things rolling with Lax All-Stars distributing these, uh, these webcasts, these streams. Hopefully they'll be widely viewed. Hopefully you are enjoying them. Certainly having a lot of fun here at what everyone refers to as the best lacrosse tournament on the planet. Brandon Ben tosses across to Tyler Aikens. Penalty coming to Bundeswehr. I believe it's going to be a slash on, as the uh, player chopped down on Aikens making the pass. The goalie has gone to the bench. They haven't actually sent an extra attacker. They don't need it. As Brandon Ben just lets it rip. He is a deadly outside shooter and makes no mistake on that one. Just tearing it up to the inside corner. the ball coming from the outside. Great view. Gotta love those cameras right behind the net. They're set at the perfect angle to catch all those shots. And another penalty coming. This time it's going to be Marius Volter. Tripping call as he just took the feet out from under Jim Block. You can see not much questions. He just Takes the foot out, bangs the right foot back against the left as Block is on full, in full run. And that'll knock you down every time. Cody Jacobs still in the box serving his 10 minute misconduct. He'll have another minute or so before he gets released in the, the next stoppage. And there's a quick finish by Brandon Ben. Scored one from downtown, now he scores one from from right in the heart of the crease, of the slot. They'll make it five to one, and Volter will be released. Block and Beckman reconvene at center floor. The ball is down, the whistle is blown, and Block grabs the ball to himself, slips as he spins. 
his helmet kind of grabbed a bit by Philly Broche, but it was just a, a kind of a glancing. He was just kind of running by, but Block didn't like it much. He's going to slip back on defense. Broche has the ball. Nice lever pass through. Doesn't quite connect with Wunderlich. Maybe just a little bit too far, even for the rangy Wunderlich, Wunderlich to reach. Stephen Borden moves it up. He's going to stay for an offensive shift. Good for him. He's a hard-working guy. Contributes a lot to this team. Any team he's on. Doug Trudeau. It's a bit too emphatic of a pick from Borden. And the ball will go the other way. Santa line. A little slip pick. But Weber didn't wasn't able to get open. Then he tries the roll. That doesn't connect either. The ball is loose and almost picked up. That would have been a break going the other way. Instead, it's a shot for our Bundeswehr. Great finish. Nice shot by Mark Brandenberger. Well, I'll tell you, Mark DeBrome was almost gone the other way. He just had the ball skip over a stick. You just see DeBrome going the other way. And Brandenberger gets a nice pick from Wunderlich. A back pick just kind of puts his back onto. And Cody Jacobs has been tossed from this game. He's still talking to referee Keith Gagne. He's going to be gone from the tournament if he doesn't get going. Jacobs not happy, but I don't think anybody's particularly happy. We've reached halftime. Here in Golden Gales and Bundeswehr is five to two for the Green Golden Gales. Green Gales. We will take a quick break. We'll be back with more from the AHM after halftime break. Period, Welcome back, lacrosse the friends. Apparently, the problem, we had a little sound Green issue, Green and it's because Green I had my phone in my pocket. <laughs> I've taken it out, it's on the floor. Gavin Proud has the ball, and we are back underway here in the second half. It is five to two. We'll be proceeding without Cody Jacobs, who has been tossed out of the game, and Gavin Prout with a beautiful finish on a lovely little feed there by Doug Trudeau. And yes, Stu Serpart, I did say Golden Gales. And yes, it was a mistake. <laughs> I caught it right away. But it's nice to know that you're watching. Out west, it's uh, it's early out there. What? It's like two, two or three in the morning. 
Block pulls another face off back to him. But Bundesvier comes up with the ball. They trail six to two. We're a minute into the second half here at the AHM 2018. Brandenburger. Pedals down and then passes off to Volter, who stayed up for an offensive shift. That pass is a bit high for Wunderlich. Nice effort trying to track it down by Gustav Weber, but he can't get it. And here's a perfect chance. Oh, but Mark Debron is stoned by Marco Horath, who has come in to net for the Bundeswehr. German side needs to get some goals. Don't have to rush, but they can't wait around for too long. Philip Roche. Drives to the net, looks back. Great job taking away the angle by Jim Block. That pass was tipped. And it's gonna be grabbed there by Todd Collins. Collins slows things down. He is going all out with the green theme. He's got the socks, he's got the head, head on his stick. All matching the Gales green. Well, not quite matching. They're a little bit more Kelly. Oh, a nice shot on the run by Brandon Ben. His third of the game. He's got one from way up by the restraining line, one right down on the crease, and that one running across through the mid-slot area. You can see the Bundesliga players talking over exactly how they could have dealt with that. I don't know, that's a pretty good shot. Oh, just picking that near post. As a goal, you want to take that away. But I, mean, I think, I think Horath actually felt like he'd taken most of it away. Green girls go score by number 18, but Brendan by Green Green Gales get the ball, but it's going to be turned over. But then it's going to be thrown back away by Bundesvier. A little pressure there by Broch. Jim Block, making sure he's got the ball in his stick. Wasn't feeling quite right, settled in the pocket. He's got a cutter. Nice catch. And Trudeau had a lean to the net, but had to peel away. Great job by Marius Volter to get in his way. Sure, so that was hitting Ratchin as Volter is up there now. And the 30 expires on the Green Gales. Bundesliga will take the ball. And Volter will hand it off to Roland Wittmann. Wittmann takes a whack from Aikens, is able to maintain his balance, throws the pass across the center line, and will head to the bench. Roche slips up into the offensive zone. He was down with the defenders. Realized there was nobody to jump in as the fifth attack player. Not a super long bench. Here's a chance running the other way for Nick Saltern. <laughs> Maybe one move too many. Great effort by Broche to hustle back on D and force Saltern to rush his opportunity. And eventually shoot the ball up over the top of the net. Mark DeBron. Takes the pass back. It looked like he was going to go off, but he decided to stay to give Gavin Prout an outlet. Now Prout reaches down for the low pass from Aikens. There's Connor Wilson ripping and scores! The man, the myth, the legend, Connor Wilson. They are pretty pleased for one of my favorite color commentators. The publisher of La Lacrosse All-Star. And you can see the pleasure everyone has as he bounces that one through the legs. And Horath just looks down to, to see why exactly the ball got through. Had a little bit of a gap between the stick and the leg, and Wilson found it. Nice overhand rip. There's some nice work getting through the traffic by David Beckman, who's having himself a very good tournament. Impressed with that young player. Ah, oh, I don't know how young he is. Could be a veteran player. Still very impressed with him. Wunderlich. Proud playing D, trying to corkscrew the ball out of there. He and Wunderlich really facing up against each other. There's Volter over to Brandenburger. Proud D's up on him, strips the ball. It's a great defensive shift by veteran player Gavin Proud. He's known for his offensive prowess, but he can play anywhere on the floor. There's Borden in the crease, penalty coming. I believe it's going to be a check from behind. Yep. And it'll be Marius Volter going to the box. Boy, the wind is whipping around and it's changed directions. It was going left to right as you watch the game. It is now coming a bit right to left, but pretty much straight into the tower here. It's a little chilly up here, isn't it, guys? They can't hear me. They have their headsets on. 
Yes, they agree, it is chilly. <laughs> and the Gales will start. We are six minutes into the second half. Gales on the power play with the 8-2 lead. Number 86, Mario Smolter, Proud at the top. Good shot for Aikens, and he just blasts it home. Connor Wilson setting a nice pick down low to open up some space for him. As you will see on the replay, there's Aikens heading to the bench after making it nine to two. Prout, a little lever pass. Yeah, I may have been giving Connor Wilson a bit too much credit. He was just really standing there beside his defender. Timeout taken by Bundesvier. It is eight to two. Game clock still running. Welcome back, lacrosse friends. We are ready to roll. 6.35 into the second half. That means we have 8 minutes and 25 seconds to go. Jim Block and David Beckman will come out and gather once again at mid-floor for the face-off. Great job by Block to swat that ball ahead, then track it down. Hands it off to Trudeau, who immediately is picked up by Broche. And Trudeau's pass goes right off the face of Marius Molter and back to him. It's a strange little sequence. Volter in the crease picks it up. That's no problem as long as you're in there. Don't drag it back to yourself. Broche with the shot, stop there by Chris O'Reilly, who hasn't faced a ton of shots. Great chance for Broche on that one. Prout, down to Trudeau. He's picked up there by, by Vickman. Pick and roll, that pass is nowhere near the target, and it's snagged by Henning Ratchin. He is swatted down to the ground by Gavin Prout. Prout not the biggest player, but he is tough for his size. <laughs> Ratchin just clamped his arm down on Prout's hand, and <laughs> Prout just left the hand under there, turned to the referee and pointed out. <laughs> he was being held, but it wasn't much of a hold. Now Doug Trudeau's gonna take one. I believe this will be unsportsmanlike or delay a game. Dead ball contact. Any, many, any number of things you could have called that. But Trudeau will go to the box and give Bundesvier a chance to cut into the lead a little bit. Green Gale's up eight to two. Green Gale's penalty for number 23, Jeff Trudeau. Wunderlich. Down to Brandenburger, throws it back across the top. Santline with the shot from the outside, bounces all the way down the floor. And Jim Block has tracked it down. There won't be an over and back because the Green Gales went and got it. They played advantage. Bundesvier did have to hustle back, but now they've got four, at least three forwards out there. Although Wunderlich and Sundarp, oh, actually Sundarp is more of a defender, he got out. Brandenburger almost picked that pass off, but it does get through, and Brandon McFarland will lob it over to Mark Debrone. Long outside shot from Debrone, late in the shot clock, just to get a reset, but the ball does wind up in a Bundesvier stick. Bundesvier moving up the floor. Broche bounces one that Santline can't handle. And it's Wallace Thompson getting the ball. Switches hands a couple of times as he runs up the floor. We got six minutes left here. Bundesvier with that one goal loss to Turku Titans. A great game yesterday. So the Gales, having beaten Turku five to three, look like they're en route to winning this game, which means they'll go straight, having they'll give them the group win. 
Nick Saltzman's going to take his time as he is one on four. He very calmly makes a little fake. And he's knocked down, gets the ball stripped. Excellent work by Beckman. Boy, Beckman has been one of the better defenders I've seen in this tournament. And that's a smart play to throw it just before. No, it's not. He was just over center. I was going to say smart play to make that pass back just before he got over center, but it turns out he was just across the line. And the ball will go back the other way. Bundesliga with a chance. Marius Volter lobs it to the man off the bench. Gustav Weber hands it off and goes to set a pick. Wunderlich with a rip from the outside. That's blocked by Prout. Wrap check by Mac MacArthur. They try to go to the back door. Ball did get on the net, but O'Reilly was alert to make that stop. Prout with a long outlet pass. Trying to hit Brandon McFarlane coming off the bench. It's not going to work. And Brandenberger will take possession. So Green Gales will go straight to the quarterfinals. And Bundeswehr, despite a couple of, of despite playing an excellent game yesterday, they will lose their two games in this group, most likely. And that means they're eliminated from contention for the for the championship and we'll go into the relegation rounds. Todd Collins tracks that ball down. Collins knocks his man down, goes after the ball, almost gets it. Wittmann tries to get there and Collins does track the ball down. Possession, Green Gales and a fresh 30 for them. We're in the final three and a half minutes. It's 9-2 Green Gales. I'm Steven Stamp and this is AHM 2018. That's the hashtag to use to join us on social media. We'd be happy to hear from you. Got another game coming up right after this. Another gold group game, the Alberta Warriors and Vienna Monarchs. Vienna, I know, will have some reinforcements after Captain Adrian Balash had some mechanical troubles with his car yesterday. Wasn't able to get here, had some players with him and the uniforms. So they have to play in borrowed jerseys without a bunch of players. Only had seven runners able to play. Stephen Borden going for the dunk, dunk attempt. Kind of a dunk step attempt. Prout getting into it. And now Dalton Lundy is going after Mark Brandenberger. Lundy has dropped his stick. He's got his gloves just barely dangling from his hands. The Gales gate opens. Gavin Prout is saying he got a cross check on the hip, which is not cool. So, slash for Proud as he responded to the check from Brand Brandenburger that he feels was on his hip. And Lundy coming to the, to the aid of his teammate gets one for a dead ball contact. So it'll be five on three for Bundeswehr. Coming up right after this game, it'll be a brief break and then Alberta Warriors and Vienna Monarchs. Oh, I was mentioning, yeah, Ad Ad Adrian Balash should be here along with several more players and the jerseys for the Vienna Monarch. So there's a gross misconduct call to the bench of the Green Gales. Brad MacArthur throws the outlet pass. It doesn't connect. Brandenburger comes up with it. Bouncing ball is picked up by Lucas Sundarp. Oh, that ball's picked off. Great job by DeBrone. Sees a spot he wants to go. Starts to sprint. Great job by Volter to get back and take away the angle. Brandenburger tries to check him. DeBrone's going for a bit of a run. Just three Green Gales out there. Brad MacArthur has the ball. He'll take the check from Brandenburger. Going for a trot. Sees a lane down below. Volter on him. Double team. 
MacArthur's just going to tuck it along the boards. Ball pops out. He scoops it back up. Kind of may have touched it with the hand there. Everybody's falling down. MacArthur hops up, heads to the bench. It's a good solid shift for the veteran. Everyone's released. We're back to five on five lacrosse. Prout and Lundy go and play defense. We've got one minute to go here. It's still 9 2 for the Green Gales. Wunderlich down to Broche. He's got Lundy on him. Shovel pass way up top. That's a long shovel pass and a goal. Nice assist by Broche. And Zentline, Max Zentline, just says, wow, that's. <laughs> He just kind of puts his hands up. He can't believe he put that ball in. You can see how long that pass was. And I do not blame our, camera, our main follow camera for not being able to get that one. That was a long, long pass. And it just goes through the legs of Chris O'Reilly. He can't believe it. It's quite a shot. Going five hole from way downtown. 9-3. 46 seconds to go. Block, pulls it back, swats it, still getting after, laying the body on the line. Boy, these Green Gales have to consider contenders for this title as well. I think everyone's on, on board the Gold Star Tel Aviv train right now after the performances they put in. But the Green Gales showing their veteran savvy and talent is also a great weapon along with the speed of Tel Aviv. DeBrone from outside, that one's stopped by the goaltender Marco Horath. He pounces on the rebound. 15 seconds to go. They got to get the ball up the floor if they want a chance for a last goal. <laughs> Tuck Trudeau just kind of grabs onto the jersey there of Henning Ratchin. Gales get the ball. Two seconds to go. Doug Trudeau is not going to take a shot. The clock will expire. The final score, 9-3 to three in favor of Green Gales. They win the group in advance. Bundesvier is relegated to relegation play. I'm Stephen Stamp. Thanks so much for being with us. We will talk to you soon. Another game coming up in about 15 minutes. Skončilo utkání mezi týmy Bundesliga Lacrosse a Green Girls. Ta utkání je 3-9 pro Green Girls. Ten match between teams Bundesliga Lacrosse and Green Girls. Score is 3-9 for Green Girls.